Hey everyone, I'm Dan from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Andrew Rathbun, saxophonist, composer, band leader, and professor of saxophone and jazz studies at Western Michigan University. Andrew is here to talk to us about motivic development. Dan, thanks so much for having me. It's really a, a, pl a pleasure and an honor uh, to be here today. Uh, I thought I'd talk about a piece from my um, last big band record, uh, which is called the Atwood Suites. And this is a piece called Fractured. And uh, in this particular instance, I decided to see how much music I could get out of a very, very small musical unit or musical motif, which in this case was just that half step, um, A flat to G. So uh, that led to the introduction of this piece. And uh, that sounds like this. That led to some other contrasting material, and that motive moves to the brass section, and that motive changes slightly while the saxophones play more of an elongated melody, um, again, derived from the motive uh, over that. So why don't we take a listen to that portion of the piece? <laughs> And then later on uh, in the piece, I decided to try um, my hand at putting that motive into uh, an odd meter, in this case, seven. So um, I took that same motive and just explored how to uh, put that in seven. And that de was derived from that brass melody, um, changed slightly, and with a slightly different contour. So the contour at the beginning of the piece is more like this, and the contour of the melody in seven is more symmetrical. It rises in the middle and falls uh, at the end. So why don't we take a listen to uh, that same idea and motive in seven. Uh, the final thing that happened in that 7-4 uh, section was that uh, I added um, some more concrete and um, chord changes uh, to, to support the melody. Um, before, in the introduction, I wasn't really thinking about chord changes at all. I was really just thinking about um, that interval and moving it around to different places. But in, in this section, uh, and this leads into a, a, a piano solo, a road solo, uh, I wanted some changes uh, to play on. So I hope you got something out of today's mini lesson, and I appreciate you checking it out. Thanks for watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. To watch our full length events and participate in live Q and A's with our presenting artists, head over to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks and we'll see you next time.